Hello, my name is Sage Beauregard, and I am studying mechanical engineering at Oakland University. In difficult times like the ones we're experiencing right now, surfaces that we touch uh, can never be too clean, which is why for our EGR 2800 final project, we decided to create an automatic sanitizing door handle with a manual option. The current pandemic has shifted a lot of attention towards disinfection, not only of ourselves, but of the surfaces that we often touch. And this is what our team wanted to focus on. We were able to narrow down the need for door handles because it is one of the most commonly touched surfaces while in public establishments. And these commonly touched surfaces spread viruses like the one that caused COVID-19. It's often costly and difficult for institutions and businesses to clean these surfaces, which is why we decided to come up with a solution to automate that process to decrease the difficulty and cost. Automation allows these establishments to effectively disinfect surfaces between the uses and with a manual option, much like a handicap button to a door, we would allow additional cleaning at the user's request. Hello, my name is Marielle Perez. I work on the electrical electronic subsystem of the final project. I was also in charge of the timeline. For the electrical portion of the sanitizing door handle, we use the Arduino Uno. So the Arduino Uno is going to be used as the main micro microcontroller of the whole system. Um, this chip has the appropriate number of inputs and outputs pins to handle all the components needed to implement this in this project. We also use an LCD display to show the essential information about the system. For example, this information includes the last time the handle was sanitized as well as the number of wipes it has left. We also use the HCSR04 ultrasonic distance sensor and this is going to help us to have a non-contact measurement. Um, with this sensor we will know the displacement of the door and which will trigger when the program should start the cleaning cycle. We also use a linear step and motor that will help us move the mechanism up and down. Um, this step and motor obviously cannot be connected directly to the Arduino so we're going to use a high current stepper motor um, driver carrier to connect um, to connect it bit in between so it's going to be the Arduino and then the Arduino is going to be connected to the high current stepper motor driver carrier and then that is going to be connected to the linear stepper motor so when the handle needs to be sanitized the motor is going to turn clockwise to move down and counterclockwise to move up, resulting in the motion that will wipe the handle. So to know how much solution we have left in the device, we're going to use a water level sensor. Um, this water level sensor, it has three different pins to connect. Um, so we have the, sign the signal, the BCC, and the ground. So it's pretty, um, pretty easy to connect. So this sensor will produce an output voltage according to the resistance. With this, we can determine how much solution. And in this case, we're going to use the isopropyl alcohol. And with that, we will know how much solution is left. After that, um, a, the LCD will show how many wipes the mechanism has left. And this will allow the user to determine when it's time to refill the device with the cleaning agent. All of these will be powered by a 12 volts battery. All of these components and wiring will be in a small rectangular compartment that is going to be placed on the door so it looks better. Hello everyone, my name is Fatima Almarhun and I'm an electrical engineering student. So for the project, I did the electrical electronic subsystem part. 
and now I will talk about the estimated well of materials. So for our project, we used uh, 10 components, which was Arduino Uno, LCD display 1602, ultrasonic sensor HCSR04, uh, button stepper motor, breadboard, water level sensor, high current stepper motor driver carrier, and 12 volts uh, battery, and pack of 100 piece of wires. So the total cost of all these components were uh, $245, which was a quite reasonable amount, but the most expensive uh, part was the stepper motor, which cost $160. Hello, my name is Asma Al Mufti, and uh, I am electrical and computer engineering major. I worked on the coding part of the project, uh, and Sage helped me with the flow chart so we can figure out how we will do the code. Our um, our code is really simple. I will start explaining it. The first setup to check if the door has been opened or not. If it's all that will be uh, checked by a sensor, and if it's opened, uh, if it's open the system, uh, if it's opened, uh, that means uh, the position is not a zero. The system will delay until it reach a position of zero. Once the door has reached that position, the system will delay five seconds to ensure there is no one touching the handle of the door while it's cleaning. And uh, and then the system will give a signal uh, to the wiping to begin the cleaning. If someone touched the door handle while it's cleaning, the uh, the wiping will stop immediately and we will wait until the position returned to the zero centimeter. Uh, everything will be uh, displayed on the LCD monitor and the program to the screen. Uh, if it's a cleaning, it will say it's a cleaning and how many minutes ago it was a cleaning. And if it's finished cleaning, it will say finished and how many uh, wipes there is left. I'm Kirsten Gill. I presented the first idea for our design project. That idea was using disinfecting spray to sanitize and disinfect the door handle. That along with another idea of ultraviolet light was not used as our final design because of potential dangers to its users. We decided to use a cloth along with a high concentration of isopropyl alcohol. This design uses a wiping technique to minimize the potential dangers to its users. It wraps around the handle to make sure the entire surface is being disinfected. We decided to focus our attention on the door handles to the south side of the engineering building. They have vertical handles and we decided to just create a mechanism that will wrap around it will hold the isopropyl alcohol and is not too heavy so it can travel easily up and down the door handle. We decided to use a lightweight aluminum along with a high concentration of isopropyl alcohol that will evaporate quickly so it will reduce the inconvenience to its users. Hello, my name is Jun Lee. I'm a junior at OU majoring in mechanical engineering. I'm responsible for the CAD design portion of the project. The CATIA software was used to validate the rough sketch dimension drawings and see if it would be a good fit man when building the actual device. The drawings on the left portion of the slide shows both the device with and without the aluminum material and the fabric material for the inside wiping motion. For the design, two parts had to be created, one part for the outer shell of the device and the inner side for the cloth when wiping down the door handle. Two components were assembled into a product using a manipulation function on CATIA and the material has been applied to present a more realistic version of the device. The design on the middle portion of the slide shows when the cleaning device is fitted onto an imitated engineering building door. If this device were to be applied to other types of doors around campus, all we need to do is change the inner part of the device to accommodate different door handle shapes. The picture next to that is the built prototype using the dimensions given from the rough sketch from earlier. By shaping and welding an aluminum sheet together, we were able to create the mechanism to hold our cleanser and other components to clean the door handle. The components inside will be properly sealed and protected 
in order to protect the electrical components getting liquid damage from the sanitizing alcohol. When building the device, we also created our own door handle of the same dimensions in order to prevent any damage to OU's property. The results of our project was that the, the device did successfully sanitize the door handle, although we did not purchase the stepper motor of $160 due to the lax requirements of the final project that it did not actually need to be built. And because our device successfully sanitized the door handle with m some manipulation, um, it ensured that the device was properly communicating with the electrical Arduino. The LCD screen also showed any update regarding the wiping motion as well as the number of wipes that it did have left. But just like any other project, there were some obstacles during the building pr process, such as welding. It was my first time doing it. Bending the material, um, as well as connection errors, sensor calibration issues, the coding program itself, as well as the actual setup of the cloth inside of the aluminum. We made the necessary adjustments in order to resolve these issues. So for the timeline of the sanitizing door handle, we have four different sections. The brainstorming one, it's when we selected the project, um, and the one slide presentation. Um, when it was due the um, on March 15th, um, we also have the first draft, that's when we assigned the sections, um, when we created the sketches and drawings, and when it was the proposal first draft due. For the develop um, design, um, we start working on the mechanical, electrical, and computer subsystems. And for the build prototype, um, it's when we created the design, the wiring, the coding, and when we integrated all the systems. And that's it. To conclude our project, we were able to create a device that would help minimize the contact that we have with germs. This in turn would, will create a safer environment for ourselves as well as future generations. If something like this is created for all handles, not just specific to our engineering building at Oakland University, we would be able to get back to the normal lives we had prior to the pandemic. The only thing that we would need to do is change the external structure to accommodate these other door handles.